Hello everybody, Tommy Ruin here, and as I mentioned at the end of my last video, I have been running a build using Metamorphosis for raiding that is a lot of fun. Now I'm sorry this video has taken longer to come out than I thought, it got delayed due to the recent changes to random enchants on Anderhall, which meant that I had to rethink with some help from a player named Sabo Primo, whose channel is going to be linked in the description of the video, and this changed how the build would play out. So the premise of the build is to do high damage with the Imp Warlock pet. The damage on its own is not very strong, but with random enchants, talents and some player synergy, you can see this little dude critting for up to 5k. That's a lot of damage! Now that's only what I've seen, people with better gear will probably see much higher crits. So before the nerf, the highest crit I got with my Imp was 8k, so the power levels have been reduced sadly. On average, the Imp does 40-50% to 50 of the damage that I do, with DPS in my mixture of unenchanted dungeon, molten core and a few blackwing lair pieces reaching up to 2.8-3k. to 3K. And that's quite nice in my opinion, so I'm going to go ahead and explain how the build works. So as I said before, the core idea of the build is improving Imp damage. So as well as having the random enchants, there is also a nice talent called Empowered Imp which guarantees the caster a critical strike when the pet critical strikes. And there's a random enchant which increases pet critical strike chance by 50% when you crit. So there is some very nice synergy there, constantly bouncing criticals back and forward, almost guaranteeing critical strikes for you and your imp. This means your imp is constantly critting and you are constantly critting, allowing for huge damage potential. For single target damage, we will be using abilities like Searing Pain, Immolate and Conflagrate. Searing Pain is a quick casting fire damage spell, allowing it to benefit from the Ignite talent in the Fire Mage Tree, with good damage synergy coming from Immolate and Conflagrate. Of course, our Imp is going to be pumping out huge numbers and his crits will allow us to be critting too. We also have a Searing Totem to add some extra passive damage to the target in single target situations. A lot of our damage will come from Ignite, which is a Fire Mage talent. Because we are critting a lot, we will be procking a lot of ticks of Ignite, and therefore getting lots of burn damage on the target. Now for maximum single target damage, standing close to the target is required. Now this was a nice little trick that Saber Primo taught me, in that you can macro Shadow Cleave, one of the Metamorphosis abilities, into your Searing Pain, and this allows you to do extra passive damage should you be standing next to your target and regenerate a little bit of mana with melee attacks from Seal of Wisdom. So that's a nice little tip there. And then you'll also want to have Immolation Aura on cooldown whilst in melee range for, that more, for more passive fire damage onto the target. <clears throat> For AoE situations, you're going to pop Magma Totem, you're going to hit that Immolation Aura button, and you're going to either Hellfire or Reign of Fire. So the last is personal preference, you can choose Hellfire or Reign of Fire. I personally prefer Hellfire, especially as you're going to be standing in melee range preferentially. But if you can't be in melee range uh, for some fights and you want to do some AoE, then Reign of Fire is probably a lot better. So let's look into the talents a little bit then and it will show that most of the talents are put towards buffing the imp damage, with the whole of the Demonology Warlock tree basically dedicated to this. Master Demonologist is very nice, as it is a 5% fire damage and fire spell crit chance increase, and as our rotation is all fire spells, this one isn't to miss. In the Destruction tree there are even more buff uh, talents for the imp, as well as Conflagrate, one of our key damage spells, also being picked up. In, in the Shaman Trees we have Elemental Focus and Elemental Oath. This talent combo gives us 5% spell crit while also allowing us to increase the damage and reduce the cost of our fire spells. In Fire Mage we have Ignite like I spoke about before, as well as Focus Magic which we will be putting on our pet to increase its crit chance and give us some extra crit when it crits. In Hunter we once again have Kindred Spirits to increase pet damage. And in Druid, we have Balance of Power for that extra 4% spell hit rating. Now finally, in Holy Paladin, I have put 2 points into Blessed Hands. Now this is important because our pet cannot manage its own threat. It can't just feign death like the rest of us. So it will be critting a lot and generating tons of threat. So being able to Salvation it and reduce its threat will be very useful in keeping it alive. Because if it dies, 
We lose over 50% of our damage and we don't want that to happen. Now I'm going to go a little deeper into our single target rotation and how we can maximise it. So we want to start combat by immolating the target. We then want to use our curse of elements and drop our fire totem. By this point, hopefully our imp will have casted and scored a critical strike on its firebolt. If it does, nice. We have our empowered imp buff and we want to conflagrate. Because Conflagrate crits, all the ticking damage will crit as well, proccing an Ignite on the target. Then we want to cast Immolate. You will want to wait a fraction of a second before recasting your Immolate so that you can allow for your Imp to cast uh, again. And as this can crit, your Immolate can then crit for some extra fire damage on the target. You'll then want to spam Searing Pain until it is time to Conflagrate again and the cycle repeats. Now something nice to do, if you have the empowered imp buff but your conflagrate is only a few seconds away from coming of cooldown, is to reapply your totem or to life tap so that you can guarantee that your conflag is going to crit. This rotation is a little complex and does require some timing to master, but once you get there you'll really notice the increase in damage from fishing for those criticals. Now in terms of random enchants, the vital ones are Nemesis, Demonic Influence, Unholy Power, Improved Imp, Empowered Imp, and Demonic Synergy. You want to stack two Nemesis enchants to keep a full uptime on Demonic Empowerment. It also allows for faster transitions back into Metamorphosis should you have to leave the, uh, leave the form due to blinking or hand of salving your pet. Now for our stat allocation, I put 150 points into Intellect and the remainder into Stamina. And gearing wise, you'll want to try and pick up as many plus hit pieces as possible. Pet hit doesn't increase from talents, so you'll need to get hit on gear to ensure that your pet doesn't miss. Now I'm also going to post some macros and some weak auras in the description. Uh, Sabo Primo helped me with the macros and I spent a day making these weak auras. Uh, so if that really helps, it massively smooths out the rotation and makes the spec a little bit easier to play. So guys, that's my raiding build. I was surprised at how strong it was, to be honest. It's fun to play with an interesting rotation and alongside the pet management side of things, it's good, it's good fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like the video and post some comments on it if you'll try the build, what you would change and all that good stuff. Now, I do have a little request. Currently, I'm trying to get gear and random enchants for other specs to test and show off. I'm going to put together a Google Doc soon showing what specs I want to try and then make a video and show you guys. And what I'm asking basically is if you wish to send me some gold or random enchants to help me do that, um, I will mention that the video was sponsored by whoever helped me fund the video, similar to how people do Patreon sponsorships for example. So if that interests you, let me know down in the comments as I really want to show off more stuff. It's just that I'm currently limited by my lack of REs and gold to test. So anyway, thanks very much guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Is it you? Is it me?